Okay, hello everyone. My name is Ina and today we're going to have our first uh, Russian class. So it's going to be uh, a little bit uh, interesting because I never had <laughs> uh, Russian classes on Twitch before, but uh, basically it's as no different from any other online tutoring classes. So first of all, I want uh, everyone to know that Russian is not that difficult. And uh, today we're going to learn the alphabet and it's our lesson one. So I'm going to use a Pear Deck extension and it helps us to, it allows us to draw on the slides and uh, also maybe do some writing. So I'm going to share the link in the chat. So if you want, you can join and uh, you can just get access to the whole <laughs> material, lesson materials. You can also type uh, in your browser joinpd.com and mm. this will be your enter uh, the password. So first of all I would like to tell you that Russian language is a phonetic language which means that you can accurately tell from the spelling of a word how it should uh, be pronounced so it means that you can very easily learn how to read in Russian. Of course, like we're not talking about understanding, but simply reading things and uh, it will be quite easy. So let's uh, start the lesson. Let's go to our first letter. Actually, there are 33 letters in Russian alphabet and many of them you already know how they look like because they're very similar to the Latin alphabet and uh, to English language. So, for example, the first letter I'm going to say actually what in Russian language we call the letter bukva, bukva, bukva. So just for you to get used to more Russian, I'm going to say not letter but bukva. So first one is bukva a, a. Almost the same like in English. In English we say A, but uh, here is A. And the word that begins with this bukva, the bukva A is aeroport. 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 The stress is on the last syllable, port. Aeroport. It's not very difficult and basically in English it's the same, airport. So not <laughs> that difficult. Let's go to the next one and see if uh, you can guess the pronunciation of this bukva. So maybe if you just look at uh, this bukva by itself, it may look strange or <laughs> unusual, maybe even funny. But if you will look at the picture that represents the word that begins with this letter, with this bukva, it should be quite easy. So, what type of the sport is it? So, in English we say basketball, in Russian we say basketball, basketball. Again, we're stressing the final syllable, the last syllable. <clears throat> so, there is no rule on which syllable should be stressed, but uh, it's just the matter of <laughs> remembering. So, if we just compare our English word with the Russian, we know that the sound is the same. Basketball, basketball. So, this letter is B. B, 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 basketball. And uh, later you will see that at the, when we pronounce uh, the name of the bukva, we and if it's a consonant, we kind of add sound a eh at the end. <laughs> but it's okay if you just say without. If you just say b, it's also fine. As long as you know what sound could be produced from uh, this bukva, it will be fine. <clears throat> also, the word bukva, letter, uh, also begins with letter b. Okay, let's go for the next one. This one is a very tricky bukva because it looks uh, in many Latin languages it will produce the sound b, 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 but, oh, 
in reality it's actually different so if you look at the picture and if you could tell me the name of this drink you will know what what sound does this book will make mm. so of course in english we say it is vodka vodka okay vodka and if you look at the russian word it's actually quite similar so if we will look at the similarities we will see that the second letter is o o next uh, the end at the end we have ka ka so basically in this word you already know <laughs> three letters easily and now we know that this bukva makes the sound v v so we call it v v vodka vodka so pretty much the same vodka okay next letter is again so you try to guess i don't think uh, any language has this letter i mean any latin language european language but uh, it might look scary <laughs> actually like maybe an axe but if we look at the picture and if we look at this musical instrument do we know how to say it in english i think we do so it should be a guitar guitar and in russian it is the same guitara guitara so we stress the second syllable guitara so this bukva is bukva g g g g g guitara guitara <clears throat> there could be uh, another word that is also very similar to english and uh, i'm not sure that i can <laughs> that i'm good at drawing but i will maybe try to draw it okay okay i'm not very good at drawing again It doesn't look <laughs> good at all. <laughs> Maybe I need to make this a little bit smaller. I can say that this is an animal, but question is what kind of animal is it? Okay, so I'm not very good at drawing, especially on the computer, but it's supposed to be gorilla, gorilla. And in Russian, it will be the same, gorilla, gorilla. <coughs> so many words uh, in different languages, they are loan words from French, from uh, Latin. So same in Russian, in Russian language. So I guess I will delete this gorilla clear it up because it's not a very beautiful gorilla okay next one is if we just look at the picture it's not very clear what type of profession it could be because uh, it could be a nurse it could be a doctor it could be medical assistant a dentist okay not a dentist but you know like cardiologist and so on but uh, the broad name for all of this uh, kind of um, specialists in uh, medical field is doctor. <laughs> doctor. So we stress the first syllable or doctor. So we can guess that the first letter is d d d d d. So it looks a little bit strange. It looks like a hill and that or a mountain that is sitting on a bench so there the 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 so when we want to write it we just draw a mountain and after we draw a bench underneath so it's kind of a <laughs> mountain or standing on the bench the 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 doctor okay so the next uh, bukva is bukva ye 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 
It looks like uh, English E, or maybe like in other languages it could be pronounced as E, but kind of it's much closer to other languages with E. Yeah, E, 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 E. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any word that will be similar to English. So, except for just exclamation when you're super happy, something good happened, and you say like "Yeah!" Like "Hooray!" "Yeah!" So <laughs> that's that's it. Actually, uh, there are some words. There are quite many words that begin with this letter, but uh, none of them actually sound as uh, in English. Another letter that is very similar to year. If you look at, if you look back, this is year, and this is exactly the same letter but with two dots on top. So this is uh, this letter is yo yo, like we make sound y and o yo. Um, again, there are, it's a specific letter and. Uh, if you buy books nowadays, uh, just like any fantastic books or liter like uh, uh, fiction books, you would not uh, see it much in the printed books because um, because why? <laughs> I th I think the kind of maybe it's more difficult uh, like for the printing uh, companies to use it. It's like an extra symbol and it looks very similar to letter Y and uh, very often these two dots are omitted in the book so in my opinion it shouldn't be done because it's like its own letter and it has its own sound but uh, just bear in mind that sometimes when you uh, read books in Russian maybe you will not find uh, letter Y there but the author would imply that it will be there will be that letter. Uh, and another reason why maybe we don't use uh, this letter as much in newspapers or like printed materials, uh, because there are not so many words that begin with it, and they are not popular either. So they're quite rare words. So it's, you don't really need to use it that often, and because it's quite a rare uh, letter and there are limited amount of words beginning with it. Of course it was difficult to find any picture that will symbolize it, but the nearest what I could think of is uh, the toy yo-yo, yo-yo. But again, uh, in Russian language it uh, has a <coughs> little bit different spelling, so it makes the same sound as yo. But letter yo, bukva yo, consists of two sounds, y and o. And in writing, we're kind of writing also, um, like, I, ch I checked online, because it's a loan word, so there are not so many rules on how to use it, how to write it. So I checked online shops, and majority of them used uh, this spelling. But of course, uh, I found some that uh, just used... Okay, let me change the language here that uh, used this spelling so there could be both but I think uh, the first one with E and O is more common so again don't worry because there are not so many words with this letter and uh, it's not a big problem not a big deal next letter is a little bit interesting because it looks like mirrored letter K. Look, if we look, this is letter K. And if we just put the mirror, and it will be its, its reflection. So it's... <laughs> but it has nothing uh, in common with pronunciation of this letter. So, of course, what can help us? The picture can help us to figure out the pronunciation of this bukva. So it is a giraffe, j, j, in English. In Russian, uh, we have its so own sound, so we don't really need to add d in front. So it will be 
же, же, жираф, жираф, жираф. Two syllables. The stress is on the final syllable. Жираф, ж, же, жираф. <coughs> okay. Again, it's a pretty unique sound, and <laughs> you kind of can make an analogy that you haven't heard this sound much in Latin languages. Like the the closest would be j, but it's still different. So j, it's a little bit softer. Next one is number three, <laughs> but actually it's also a letter. <laughs> And if we look at this beautiful white and black animal, we call it zebra or zebra. And we can guess that the pronunciation of this bukva is z, 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 zebra. Z, bra. So we stress the first uh, syllable, zebra, zebra. Next letter is quite confusing because it looks like uh, upside down N in English alphabet or in Latin alphabet, but it is actually a vowel and it sounds E, E, E. And again, that was not easy to find uh, a word that begins with letter E and uh, would have the same meaning as in English. So I had to <laughs> be a little bit sneaky and choose the country. India. India. So here we stress the <laughs> first syllable in India. India. India, India. Next one is almost the same. <laughs> so you see there are 33 letters in Russian alphabet, but we have just learned that there are quite similar letters like year and your. They look almost alike, just two dots. And the same with letter E and E. They look very similar, just this one has this uh, little hat on the top. And if we just make it sound E, enough to kind of want to raise our voice a little bit up and just stop it. E, E, and that will be exactly the letter E. Actually, its official name is quite long. It should be E Kratka. And it means a short letter E. 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 And uh, the word that is actually fits with this letter that begins with it is Yeti. Yeti. Uh, letter E is a consonant and it's always a consonant. And letter E, the soft one and the let's say we can say the long one, is always a vowel. E, India, quite long also. And this one is short. E, ye, 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 yeti, yeti. Actually, there's a pretty fun fact about uh, this word, about yeti. Uh, because Yeti is a loan word from English language and originally in Russian language we will call this creature Snezhny Chilavek. And if we will okay one second and if we will translate it like directly uh, word by word into English it will be Sne okay a e snowman <laughs> like just a man that is uh, lives in the snow or is made of snow and we know that in English if we write it together maybe here we can write it 
Sn okay, let me try that here. Oopsie. Here, snowman is basically a creature. Not a creature, but just. Oops. Wanted to choose bluish here. Something what children make in the winter, like for Christmas when they when there is snow, and they put some carrots into it as a nose. So basically, this is a <coughs> snowman, <laughs> but in Russian language, that will have a different. Uh, name for it. It will be okay. Let's change the language. Still haven't changed. Snegovik, Snegovik, and the Russian word Snegovik means actually something that is made of snow. Yeah, <laughs> but Snejny uh, Chilovik is just like a human who lives in the snow in the snow uh, environment. But nevertheless, so this uh, red letter is I Kratkaya. It's the official name of this letter, but it makes the sound Y, 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 Yeti, Yeti. Okay, next is pretty easy. <laughs> we just see the letter, we see Bukva that uh, basically we know. And uh, we see the picture that we know, and the only difference maybe is uh, the spelling of this word with Russian letters. So it is computer, computer, com, pu, ter, computer, computer. So the stress is on the third syllable. And the sound of this bukva is the same as in English. K, 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 letter K, K, computer, computer. Next one is just a single mountain, <laughs> just one mountain. And it is letter L. This it makes the sound l l l l or l l, and if we know it in English, we can uh, already know what is it. It is a lamp, right? The lamp. We'll make it black, and if we will con compare it with the uh, Russian alphabet. We have four letters, here we have five letters, but pretty much uh, the same. Lamp, lampa, lampa. We stress the first syllable. La, lampa, <coughs> lam, lampa, lampa, lampa. L, 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 lampa, lampa. Next letter is oh, bukva. <laughs> sorry, next bukva is bukva M. 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 We pronounce it as M, but we call this bukva M. And one of the <laughs> pretty much international words is mitro. 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 So we stress the second syllable. Mitro. Uh, as I remember in France, it's called metro or metro, metro. And uh, of course, you know that it could be like underground or it could be subway in other countries. But uh, still, <laughs> we still have mi metro or metro, metro. Okay, my cat is getting crazy. <laughs> Next one is the spicy word. <laughs> Actually, it looks like uh, bukva H, like letter H in English, but it is completely different because if we look at uh, this picture, 
So who is this? We don't know. Just a lady. But the question is, <laughs> where is she? <clears throat> She's at the beach. And uh, what is she wearing? Nothing. So how do we call people who wear nothing at the beach? Or people who don't like wearing clothes? Nudist. Nudists. And in Russian language, it's... Uh, what did it is the same nudist nudist okay maybe not the same but uh, pretty close nudist 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 we stress the last syllable so this letter is actually makes sound n n n n and this is one of the trickiest letters uh, trickiest book was because uh, it's N, 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 that looks like H. And uh, another tricky letter, if you remember, is this one. Буква B, 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 that looks like, uh, um, sorry, буква V, 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 V. <laughs> Even I got confused. <laughs> but uh, in English it makes sound B, B. But in Russian it is V, 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 vodka. So yeah, we have some tricky letters, tricky bookvas, <laughs> and uh, it just takes uh, some practice to get used to them. But again, if you know how to pronounce the letters, how, what sounds they make, you can easily read anything in Russian language. You don't need to be a pro. Next one is pretty easy. O, 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 Atel, 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 Atel. O is O. <laughs> o is O. <laughs> like very easy, very simple. Next one is kind of easy to guess, but again, uh, this letter is. Kind of new because it looks uh, it looks different. So this wonderful animal, this wonderful beautiful animal is called panda, and in Russian language it is the same, pan, da, panda, panda. So this is actually sound. P, 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 буква П, 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 панда. And in the very same picture, you can find another word that I'm pretty sure you know. And I can help you. It is something green. What is panda eating? What is it eating? So in English we say, what do we say? Bamboo, bamboo. And in Russian language, okay, not yet. Bam, boo. But we also add another letter, k, bambuk, bambuk, bambuk. So this is a one pretty regular picture but you already know two words without even learning Russian so it's uh, quite nice isn't it so I really like uh, showing my students and showing you that there are so many words that you already know so you don't need to be <laughs> really scared of this language okay next one is a modern technology <laughs> Okay, technological appliance or whatever you call it. This one is again the tricky one because in English it makes sound P, letter P. But in Russian, if we compare the picture, if we'll just look at the picture, we know that this is a robot. Robot. So in Russian language, robot, robot, robot. So this is actually 
letter R. 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 So if we think of any analog in Latin alphabet, it will be letter R. It will basically have very similar sound. So Russian R is more rolling. Um, it's more rolling than in English. Maybe a little bit like in French, if you French or you ever learned French. I may have been a bit late, but I'm here. <laughs> okay, cool. So we already uh, went through half of the alphabet, but it's uh, still good. So this is uh, the letter R. R. What actually makes the sound R, but the letter is R. R. Robot. I just said that uh, Russian is a phonetic language and uh, it means that you can accurately tell from the spelling how uh, it should be pronounced. And again, if you hear someone saying something, if you know the sounds and you note it down, you would be able to basically <laughs> write what people are saying. So it's quite easy to learn how to read in Russian and uh, how to produce sounds. Okay, next word that everyone knows, and it's actually very similar to uh, English alphabet or any Latin alphabet, is letter S, or sometimes it's called S. S. So the sound is S, 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 and of course it has the meaning as it's shown in the picture. <laughs> People doing different kinds of sport so in russian it's basically exactly the same sport sport just a slight difference in pronunciation because the letters sound a little bit different so if we oops, compare oh, okay this is russian alphabet <laughs> again can't switch it sport so we can see five letters in English alphabet and five letters in Russian alphabet and the first one is s p o okay next one is here see r t sport sport so in today's lesson we're just trying to figure out the alphabet and trying to compare the English letters to Russian figure out that actually not so many are different some are exactly the same next one also exactly easy I think it became an international word <laughs> the yellow cab another word another meaning for a cab is a taxi so in Russian language it's the same tak si taxi Taxi. Yeah, so this last letter we have already checked that it looks like crooked letter N in English, but actually it's a vowel E. E. Taxi. Taxi. So the same as in English. T. 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 Letter T. T. And also we decided to call any letter using the Russian word. It will be bukva. Bukva T. Letter T. Next one. <laughs> Again, uh, sometimes it was not easy for me to find the words that are pretty similar, uh, have similar sounding to English or Latin languages. Sometimes they're very abstract, and uh, this is one of them. <laughs> so this is letter U. U. It is always a vowel. Ooh, 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 ooh. And the word is, <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> read it because it's uh, quite difficult to guess from the picture. I couldn't even find a like, really matching <clears throat> picture. I think it's almost impossible. Ul, ti, ma, tum. Ultima, oh wait here. Ultimatum. Ultimatum. 
ultimatum. So if you watch like the movie, this movie, The Saw, uh, you know that people were giving basically this thing. So it's either you do this, like maybe cut your eyeball out or either you cut your arm or cut your hand off your body or you die. So that was, do you know, did you guess the name like of this word in English? Is it easy or difficult to guess it? In Russian it is ultimatum. Ultimatum. So in English it is ultimatum or ultimatum. Wow, my cat is giving me an ultimatum. He wants me to shut up or to pet him. <laughs> And, uh, okay, he gets some pets. Ultimatum. U -u -u. Ultimatum. Okay, next one that was actually also asked uh, by one of uh, my followers on Twitch. What about this letter O with some stroke in the middle? <clears throat> so this is actually a consonant and it has the sound F. It's like English letter or Latin letter F. 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 So in Russian, the name of this letter is uh, F or F. Depends on how people are saying. Depends where people are from. And the word that begins with letter F, F is film. Film. So we stress the first uh, and the only <laughs> vowel because the rest are consonants. So film, film, pretty much the same. I know that maybe film is uh, not a very common word in English. Like I think nowadays people prefer to use the word movie, but still film, film is an accurate word. Next one. Next one is also a little bit tricky because in English uh, this letter produced the sound k -s -k -s, but in Russian it's actually different. It has uh, maybe the closest one will be H like so letter ha ha the sound <laughs> and again I don't know many words beginning with this letter with this bukva ha in Russian language but one of them is hacker 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 so hacker hacker sounds pretty much the same and again why because it is a loan word and uh, probably from English <laughs> Not probably, it is loaned from English. So, hacker. <laughs> Next one is... Ooh, this is definitely something new, something that uh, does not exist in other languages. So, this is letter C. C. So, it makes the sound C. Be quiet. Tse, tse. So how do you write it? Basically, you just draw an angle and after just a little tail down, like maybe a zigzag or a tiny bit of a <laughs> lightning and you just add another stroke on top. Tse. So again, this is kind of lightning or maybe the steps, the stairs, and you add a stroke on the top. Tse. And what else could be with this begin with tse except tsar, tsar, a tsar, kind of a king in ancient Russia. Uh, not even in ancient, but I think, yeah, kind of it's 
refers to more older times because since Peter the Great we started to have like more emperors so now it is this one is Tsar Tsar next one is letter Ch so makes the closest sound as ch 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 chia 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 chim pi on chimpion chimpion so we stress the final syllable chimpion in english pretty much the same champion champion chimpion next one is also a new letter and uh, it looks actually if you have ever learned Chinese in Chinese uh, language they have this word it's basically the same just the middle uh, stroke goes a little bit higher and in Chinese it is Shan that uh, symbolizes the mountain and uh, Basically, it has the same sound. Shh, shh. So if we put S and H together, shh, shh. Letter sh, sh. Oh, we can also call it sh, sh, sh. And here, the woman she found out something, and she's so surprised. Oh, we can say she is shocked so shock shock only one vowel so <laughs> only one syllable shock shock don't forget to repeat the words after me by the way it will really help you and this is pretty much the same letter but it has this little appendix at the bottom and this appendix we could also actually look like letter C, C. Remember with Tsar, like this, or it could look just letter Sh from the previous slide, <laughs> but it has a little bit of extra <laughs> of something. So this is quite a rare letter, rare bukva, because uh, not so many common words begin with it. So. You shouldn't really be scared much and uh, one of the most popular words will be shika shika so it's a cheek cheek part of your face a cheek shika shika sh, sh, sh. so the previous letter bukva sh we said it kind of um, kind of quite soft and this one is more hard uh, and kind of brutal like we are very angry maybe kids are too naughty and the teacher in the class says or try when we try to maybe show a very aggressive snake shika Shika. So the just one more time. This previous letter is sh sh shok shok shikalad sh shikalad shok, and this one is sh shika. Yeah, quite. <laughs> oh my cats! I think they're scared because I use the sound to um, shish them away <laughs> when they are too naughty. Sometimes, yeah, we do. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, next one uh, is a special letter. It's more like a symbol because it does not have any sound. So there is no way how to pronounce it. It just has an official name that is called... Okay. Tvyrdy Znak. And if we'll translate it, it will be like um, hard, 
symbol, hard symbol. Symbol that shows us that uh, we should pronounce the word, uh, not the word, the letter, not softly. That's it. So, as for example, we have pictures of two cats, right? On the first picture, uh, and actually we see there is almost uh, the same spelling. Uh, here we have one, two, three letters, and here one, two, three, four. So both of these words, they have almost identical uh, number of, <laughs> almost identical letters. The only difference is this tvrdy znak. So if we read the first word, it will be sil, sil, means a cat sat down. Sil means to sit down, but in the past, sat, sat down. And if we have exactly the same letters, but we have this tvrdy znak, and we read the whole word together, it will be sil, sil. So this first uh, um, S will be hard, not soft. Seal means eight, eight food. Seal, 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 seal. So this tvrdy uh, znak we always put before, uh, sorry, after the consonant. So just has to show us if the consonant should be softer, pronounced, should be pronounced softer or maybe harder. Seal, 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 seal. But by itself it has uh, no sound at all, just tvrdy znak, just indication that we should pronounce it a little bit harder. Next letter is U. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, the sound is actually strange. Pushes. My cat is really going crazy. <laughs> He's uh, begging for snacks, but uh, we don't have snacks for him anymore. So let bukva ooh ooh. It is a cons uh, a vowel, but there is no word that will begin with this letter. It's always somewhere in between. In somewhere behind the consonants. So one of the words like this is mish, mish, a mouse, mish. So if you think of, uh, maybe if it's difficult for you to pronounce this bukva uh, u, you can try to think of um, maybe taking a chopstick or a, um, a spoon or anything and just try to say letter E, e, and try to push with your chopstick or spoon, fork, whatever you have. Try to push your tongue a little bit deeper inside. E, e, e. So it's the very same sound, e, but uh, <laughs> the tongue is back. E. And also, if you will kind of make a fake smile, it would also help you to pronounce this letter, like Ooh, Ooh we have a subscriber, Limur 2018. Hello, hello. So once again, this letter is Ooh. It sounds the same as E, but you have to push your tongue back. E, E, E. And also, it will much help you to make your mouth wider, like a fake smile. And also, if you put your the corners of the mouth down, it would be even better. Like you're an ogre or someone. Okay, so the next bukva is again, is a special bukva that has no sound, but it has an official name that is miaki okay znak that means a soft sound хороший урок английского actually русского это урок русского this is a russian language okay so here we had твёрдый знак just a symbol that shows that the consonant should have um, 
should be hard, not soft. And here is the other one. Pretty similar, but doesn't have this little appendix on top. Ну, кстати, да, можно и английский подучить, <laughs> пока я тут объясняю. Okay, мягкий знак. So again, we have two pairs of words, and uh, they have identical letters. I mean, the beginning, буквы. M A T M A T, and here is this мягкий знак. So the first one, the first word, if we just read it, actually we can already read it because we know the sounds of all of these uh, letters. M, A, T, Mat, Mat. Just like uh, a mat, maybe yoga mat. And if we just hear the last sound, Mat, 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 it sounds uh, pretty hard, right? Kind of not soft, mat. But if we add this symbol, мягкий знак, we should make it much softer. Mat, t, 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 mat, mat, mama or mother. So here we have a mother monkey <laughs> with her baby monkey. So we have a yoga mat or we have a mom. So there is a difference. But you shouldn't actually worry because there is not much... I don't think there are so many words that the meaning will change much. And also, even if you pronounce it slightly wrong, like with soft or hard way, I think people would understand from the context of what you're saying, unless you're saying that my mother was on the yoga mat and she was doing something. So once again, this letter is called Mjahki. Znak means soft symbol and it has no sound. <laughs> Mat, might. Almost finished with the alphabet today. Next one is a letter E. Bukva E. 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 Echa. Okay, actually E. Um, in English or Latin languages, okay, in English we don't have a letter E, we have only A, but uh, in Swedish, for example, or like Norwegian, other Norwegian languages, they have letter E, that is pretty similar to E. And these two letters we already know, actually. If you remember, this one we pronounce as and the last one is O. Echo. Echo. In English, echo. Echo. Not exactly the same, I know, but very similar. <laughs> because again, not so many words begin with the letter E in Russian alphabet. And just because in today's lesson we wanted to see some similarities between the languages, so this is uh, the word that I picked for today. Echo. Echo. And again, we know that the final letter is O. And if you were very careful, you maybe noted that I pronounced it as A. Echa. It's not a mistake. It is just different dialects in Russian language. So if you are talking to people who are from the northern parts of Russia, they will pronounce every letter as it's supposed to be in the alphabet. But uh, in other parts of Russia and actually from the region where I'm from and kind of more standard way is when the vowel is <laughs> not stressed, for example, O can change into A, but only for pronunciation, just it's supposed to make us to help us to pronounce words easier and faster. But it's not a mistake, it's not a problem, it's uh, both ways are completely correct. So don't worry if maybe you sound slightly different from me. Echa, echa, or echo, echo. Both are fine. Next one. This is also a very weird uh, letter O. If we just look, it's like O, oh, but what is on the side? It looks like letter 
буква N is hiding behind it. Maybe. So this letter is U. U. U, 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 U. Like in English, when we say you are you. So U, 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 U. But it's just one letter. Again, not so many words begin with буква U. And uh, one of those that actually does is this building. So if you know <laughs> a little bit of maybe how um, Mongolians live, uh, you will know the name of their houses. It's called yurta. yurta. In English we say yurt, yurt. But uh, in Russian, almost the same. Yurta. 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 Again, if you uh, followed through the whole lesson, and if you were so great and you remembered all of the letters, how to pronounce them, you can already read because <laughs> this is <laughs> uh, almost the last letter. <laughs> the next one, next book would be the last. Here is the final one. The final буква is буква Я. 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 Again, it's a vowel. Я. So, can you try to look at the word and try to read it? I'll just remind you that the second letter, second буква, has the same sound as English H. Ya, h, t, a, ya, h, t, a, yachta, yachta. So we stress the first, uh, the first syllable, yach, yachta. It is a yacht, yacht, yachta. Okay, so I hope this uh, wasn't very difficult <laughs> for you, <laughs> um, but I tried my best. So let's see. We'll go quickly through all of the um, letters, through the whole alphabet, just to remember which is what. So this one is буква А, А, аэропорт. Please repeat after me, because it will really, really help you. Aeroport. Try to pronounce this letter. Okay, I'll help. B, 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 basketball, basketball. This is a tricky one. V, 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 vodka, vodka. G, 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 guitara, guitara. Also gorilla, gorilla. D, 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 doctor, doctor. E. There is no word. <laughs> so, yeah! The lesson is almost over. Yeah! So, the friend of yeah is yo, like yo, yo. <laughs> if you maybe like rap music, it's kind of very similar. Yo. Or the toy yo yo. We spoke there could be two different uh, spellings for it. Next one is j. Ж, ж, жираф, жираф, з, 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 India. And now, и краткая, the short one. Yeti. 
Yeti. Ka. K. K. Ka. Computer. Computer. Pretty much the same. L. L. Lampa. Lampa. M. 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 Metro. Metro. N. N. Nudist. Nudist. Yeah, this content is not for children <laughs> today. O. O. Hotel. Hotel. P. P. Panda. Panda. Actually, Panda today is not checking our stream. Promised to look from work, but did not. R. 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 Robot. Robot. S. S. Sport. Sport. T. T. Taxi. Taxi. U. U. Ultimatum. 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 F. 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 Film. Film. H. H. Hacker. Hacker. C. C. Царь. Царь. Че. О, ча. I think it's че. Always get confused. Че. Чемпион. Чемпион. Ша. Ша. Шок. Шок. Ща. Remember, it's kind of hard ш, ш, ш sound. Ш, щека. Щека. Чик, чик. Щека. Твердый знак has no sound, just shows us that we're supposed to pronounce uh, the consonant in a hard way. Seal, sit down. Seal, eight. Seal, seal. U, u, u. Mush, a mouse. Mush. Again, no, uh, no, no sound, but мягкий знак, a soft symbol. Mat means like a yoga mat or mat, mother, mat, mat. E, e, echo, echo, echo. Ю, ю, юрта, юрта, юрт, and я, я, яхта, яхт. So these are some of the words that we kind of know, that we learned today, and I'm just want to encourage you to think of more words that could be similar with Russian and uh, maybe your language or English and uh, in this case I suggest all of you to check this little word wall game where we have to match the words with the pictures соедини слова и картинки so if 
you are with me in pair deck. Okay, let me see. I will send you the link one more time. You don't need registration. You only need to use your Google account. Or you can just go to this website, joinpd.com and add this code. So no registration is needed. Or if you don't have Google account, you can just go to word wall and uh, try to finish the exercise here. I'm going to finish one here with you. Just type your name or any name you like. It could be even fake name. I would say if it will be a Twitch um, name, I would really appreciate that. So here we have some words with the pictures and English translation and we have Russian words with pronunciation. And the time is just uh, for you to know how fast can you match the words and that's it. So let's try to do the first one. Internet. Wow, internet. 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 Can we find <laughs> the pair for the internet? <coughs> I think we can. Internet. Ta -da! And uh, at the end, after we will match all of the words, we can click submit answers and we'll see who is the leader. Okay. You can go with any word in any order you like. Policia. Policia. <coughs> if you think that it is difficult, so you can just go to the next word and find something that you think will be easy. Televisor. Televisor. Oh, I found a misspelling. <laughs> I forgot to, to write letter S. Television. Television. I think it's uh, the key uh, with letter S on my uh, laptop is kind of not working all properly. Banan. 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 You can Banan. also repeat you can listen and you can repeat and you can still try to figure out the meaning of the words with the letters alphabet alphabet okay so yeah you can go to the last one word wall or oh i sent it actually twice cool <laughs> or you can go to pear deck it's also good because uh, these words we did not have in today's lesson, but I just want to show you that uh, just remember the Russian language is a phonetic language. Whatever you hear and you just write the letters and after you can maybe match, you can use a dictionary. Or if you know how to pronounce the letters, you can already read. And many words are very much the same. Rosa. Rosa. I think it's very obvious. Or oh, like this Football. one. <laughs> this is just like so difficult Football. not to match. Pony. 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 A lot of these words are very easy when you hear them. Pony. Exactly. That is uh, the purpose of today's lesson. Yeah, the lettering is strange. And this is basically what I do with all of my students young uh, like children or adults first we just go through all of the words that many words that we already kind of know and uh, we can compare and we can get used to the letters without like really drilling a b c d e f g i don't like that style and um, honestly i don't understand uh, why people need to know the order of the letters in the alphabet like, as for me, sometimes I'm <laughs> still getting confused at some letters in which order they should go. And uh, there was almost never a situation in my life when <clears throat> I had problems with not remembering the correct order. Because the only thing that you need to know is pronunciation and uh, writing. Hoo-hoo, Decora, you were faster than Ina. <laughs> Actually, yeah, uh, much faster than me. So, or just a little bit faster. But for me, it was like so easy. 
Yeah, so thank for today the Russian lesson is over. And if we just want to practice a little bit of Russian or if you want to give me any feedback, uh, we can play some Russian games. And, I mean, not Russian games, games in Russian language. Just like regular gaming stream, <laughs> nothing special. But in every lesson I'm going to add some kind of exercises in word wool and we'll also use Pear Deck more often to do some writing.